fellows, and welcome to Haunting TV. Today, this top hat is in honor of a historical true crime novel. Kachoo, kachoo, kachoo. True crime novel called Charlatan, written by Pope Brock. And I'm reviewing this today. It is about America's most dangerous huckster, the man who pursued him and the age of flimflam. <laughs> And as hokey as that might sound on the cover, it is an incredibly well-written, well-researched book. And the fact is, this is set in, the fact is, this is set in the early age of America's Industrial Revolution, where people really didn't know much of anything about medicine yet. Like, even surgery was a weird thing to people. Like, you're gonna cut me open and tear stuff out and that's supposed to make me healthier? What? So, in this in this land of ignorance, as far as the common man goes, um, and as far as so much innovation, it was very confusing to keep track of what was good and what was bad, and, well, that's when you got hucksters and charlatans taking full advantage of the undereducated populace of America and the world, in fact. And this one particular doctor, Dr. Brinkley, doctor, um, he had a lot of fake diplomas is what that guy had. <laughs> he took full advantage of people's need for youthfulness and his scheme was to take the testicles and ovaries of goats and put them into people. And somehow that was supposed to revitalize you and make you more youthful and vigorous in the bedroom. And, uh, all he would do is kind of like slice open your organ, drop in a couple dried bits of goat testy, and then stitch you back up. And he often didn't do it very well, apparently. Like, a lot of people may or may not have died during this process. And the person who was hunting him down was this journalist who really wanted to prove to the rest of the world that Brinkley was a charlatan and a fake and should not be trusted. So what started off is just like, a little homegrown business in Kansas selling people goat testes turned into a multi-million dollar business during the Great Depression in America. And that is crazy to me. And every which way this journalist tried to stop Brinkley, but Brinkley was just too darn clever. And he kept finding new ways to sell more and more and more things to unsuspecting public, to the unsuspecting public. And it, it's just, like, mind-boggling how much he got away with. And, like, the other thing that's mind-boggling is that because of Brinkley's selling to people, we got radio. The way we know radio today, it was kind of through his, like, scheming that created it. Because originally, advertisers weren't allowed on the radio. Can you imagine that? Listening to radio all the time and not hearing, hey, buy this thing and drink that tonic and you'll live life ever after. Woo! That'd be amazing. That's what it started off as. Like, people wanted to keep it a pure subject and he totally changed it. But the other thing he did was bring about, like, the country music revolution in music. In, in radio, rather. Like, that's just crazy to me. His scheming actually made some really great innovations in the world. <laughs> but he butchered so many people in the process. It's just amazing to me. So, like, I've, I've bookmarked and paged, like, I just, I've, ugh, I love this book. There were so many moments there. I was just like, ah, that's great. And I was just laughing because it's just well written. And I love that these historic people don't just feel like facts on a page. It's engaging and it feels like they're right there and you're just enjoying them as characters. But man, this was incredibly well-researched and well-written book. I cannot recommend it enough. Five out of five blood spattered stars. If you enjoy true crime and history and uh, yeah, about America specifically and, and the medical field and radio, like all of it's kind of blended into this one dude story. Amazing to me. Go check this out. Is a good one. And I'll see you in your goat testicled nightmares. <laughs> I promise not to do that too often to you. <laughs>